In these last weeks of March 2020, the park is one of the few places where you can lawfully go to relieve the pressure of isolation at home. While you're at the park, feast your eyes on these plants that are blooming around this time. The wild radish grows every year around this time in many places in the park. It blooms from purple to white. You can actually eat it, but it's not very tasty. The pride of Madeira, or Echium, puts on a showy display. It's very popular with bumblebees. Several varieties of Ceanothus grow in the park, all recently in bloom. Purple sage grows in several spots. There's only one bush of showy island snapdragon. These flowers are cape weed from South Africa. Some fennel still has seeds from last year. Other fennel stalks look dead, but are they? There's still life left in these bones. When the new growth gets dense, red-winged blackbirds will build nests in it. These small yellow flowers are birds for trefoil. Someone planted these Dutch iris. Someone else planted these sweet alyssum. Namely, student volunteers from UC Berkeley last October 26th. Most of the planted seeds were California poppy. And poppies did sprout in large numbers. But the ground squirrels consider poppy sprouts a great delicacy and did a thorough job eating every last one. Fortunately, the squirrels don't like alyssum, so that survived. A few wallflower provide orange accents. Some other wildflowers may still come along. Some of the Monterey cypress trees in the park are putting on a show this spring. The yellow buds are male and the large brown nuts are female. You don't have to practice social distancing from these plants, but please don't pick any. Leave them for others to enjoy.